Greetings, gentle softs, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Grand Tour. I am your host, the Kid with the Pen, and today we are going to the moon. I say it's on, thrust to maximum, scroll out so we can see things, and it's pointing the right way. Let's go! So, why are we going to the moon? Well, it's just because, you know, it's there. It's kind of the first place most people go anyway. And uh, if you can see over there, it is the most, it is one of the most distinctive features in the Kerbin, in the Kerbin sky. And uh, so, you know, it's just going to say that we got to put our feet on that thing. How cool would that be? I just little turn. I'm going to get over to the 90 by the time we get to the time we hit 10,000 meters. So, this rocket is kind of my own personal take on, uh, well, on a heavy lift vehicle. It's a uh, draws inspiration from uh, NASA's SLS and um, and the Saturn V uh, no lateral boosters uh, for that and cargo setup with the command module up front and then the uh, payload behind um, is very much like the uh, the original uh, um, Apollo era equals 9 we have clean separation and uh, we're beginning our turnover. And we can ditch the fairing. And there we can see that we've got that behind the service module here, we've got our lunar lander. And. Uh, we are going way too high. And if we do nothing, it'll just skip us off into an orbit, which will eventually, you know, well, let's not think about that. Um, here, let's set a maneuver. No, we don't need we don't need Kerbal alarm clock. You know, this is not a uh, <clears throat> this is not a stock install. Uh, I have Kerbal alarm clock added, um, mostly because I think it's a tool that really ought to be part of the core game, um, and it's difficult to manage a more complex space program without it. So we're just going to warp to the uh, so why transition? And yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> our crew today is Jebediah Kerman, uh, mission commander. Bill Kerman, the uh, lunar module engineer, and then we have Valentina Kerman as the command module pilot. Um, Val is slated to be the mission commander of. Um, our eventual mission to Minmus, which will be happening in the next episode. Um, and I can't believe I'm talking about the next episode right now, but um, anyway. <clears throat> and burn. Now it's time for transmission and docking. I mean, now that we're in orbit.
I do wish that uh, that these uh, lateral clamps broke off in half and not so I just have to knock that away. Coming to dock, 3.4 meters, 3.1. Coming in at 0.1 meters per second, which is you know still quite fast. Um, all right. Got the magnetic seal, or the feeling the force, as it were. Okay. There we go. All right. And let's separate that. All right. And then what we'll do with this booster is we'll probably send a salvage mission over and at some other point. Um, let's pull back slightly. And reorient. Basic prograde. <clears throat> Alright, and Jebediah transfers over. As does Bill. We're leaving Val up there. Um, and we are going to quick save now. Because God knows how many times these things have problems. So we're going to undock. See this? Alright. So this is what we're going to do. Um, we're, going to, we're going to translate away from the module. Turn on our lights to put the landing gear. And we're going to go for the landing. Jeez. Okay. Just get your SAS then. Almost out of what? Yeah, I forget. Yeah, I forgot to put electrical charge on this. So we are going to have to land this by hand, and we're gonna burn now. We're not going to be docking with this um, because we were almost out of monopropellant.
launched. All right. That's a landing. Disengage SAS. F5 quick save. And Jebediah. Let's get out. And, you know, probably fall down and, you know. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to get out here and uh, plant a flag. We are the first Kerbals to land on the moon in this save. Um, so, you get out here and plant a flag. And it is first Moonar landing. Jeb and Bill. Next time, Val. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's head back then. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Yeah, my computer decided, oh, we want to activate safe keys? No, I don't want to activate safe keys in the middle of something. Seriously, Windows, you know. All right, you're up. And board. Point seven, point seven kilometers are close to approach. And uh, yeah, let's do this then. Coming into dock. back to one meter per second. Okay, so yeah, obviously with uh, this mission profile, I'm following the Apollo uh, launch method. And... Uh, Yeah, um, yeah, the reason why they went with the Apollo uh, landing system is mostly because it was slightly more efficient, um, because you don't have to bring the entire spacecraft down to land, and you also don't have to uh, bring the entire spacecraft back. Um, but, um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, it's interesting reading, uh, to, um, well, let's just check these things out. Oh, we're coming in close, thrusters back to one half meter per second. Dock. 
50 meters. Okay. Val's probably just going, you know. Hey, boys, you know. How was your, like, five minutes on the surface of the moon? So I could have just gone another lap, you know, if you want to have a little more alone time. But, you know. You know, Bill, you know, he's just not really the explorer type. He mostly just tags along because he's the only one who knows how to fix, uh, 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 knows how to, you know, fix uh, the spacecraft. Fifteen meters. Slow down to point one meters per second. Stay on target. And yeah, I mean, I know that you know you could dock at you know half a meter per second, no problem, uh, Kerbal Space Program, uh, but. You know, again, I just want to uh, I mean, real spacecraft never docked this quickly. Okay, so first things first. Um, Transfer as much fuel as I can over from there. Transfer Jeb and Bill over to here. Confirm there is no one in the capsule. And now we are going to separate. And we are going to make our burn. Plot a maneuver. Periaps is 35. Let's bring it down to 30 just to be on the safe side. Alright, that's good enough. 39 second burn. Point in that direction. Few seconds of there, and let's time warp. Okay, and we're hitting we're hitting the atmosphere, so I waited just a little too long uh, to make this happen. Um, get back and retrograde and there goes our service module we detach um, not pointing pro uh, retrograde because well we don't want this thing to crash into us and we got reheating if we got of course our reheating effects re-entry effects and uh, there you go stage I wonder if it'll burn up Nope, no, it looks like it's just gonna. Huh. Oh, there it goes. It hasn't exploded yet, but you know, it's only a matter of time with these things. Where is it? Okay. The blader is doing fine. And we made it 
through we went through Richard Blackout. Uh not that I have Blackout enabled. Um But yeah. Only took us two and a half days. And disengage RCS, disengage SAS, and fire parachutes. And hopefully this thing won't crash into us. And it looks like we're landing in the water. We're splashing down just off the coast of, you know, whatever island this is. Jeb's probably going to claim it for himself. Uh. All right. Parachute is deployed. Oh, and uh, there's the... Uh, So it's just going to be a while before we hit the water, because we are falling at a leisurely 6.2 meters per second. Come on, time warp. And there we go, we have a splashdown. Um, all right, that was our first successful mission, and uh, yeah, going to the moon's you know it's not that hard. Um, go away, Gene. And uh, yeah, um, next episode we're going to Minmus. Um, and uh, anyway, until that, until then, um, I've been the Kid with the Pen, and this has been Kerbal Space Program Grand Tour, and I will see you next time.